Uh, okay. So now what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is talk about 180 degrees clockwise. Now, if we're looking at our rotations, all right, and you guys think about it, if we started with this black figure, we rotate it at 90 degrees to get us to clockwise. Well, then all we can do is rotate it one more time because 90 plus 90 will give us 180, right? right. Now, right, it'll be right on over. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to do that with the sheet of paper like I did in the last one. But let's go ahead and at least determine how we can use this as a general rule. No matter how hard it might be to try to redraw something, we will know the exact coordinate points. So if we have an x and y coordinate and we want to rotate 180 degrees counterclockwise, then what we can do is now we're just going to negate the x and the y coordinate. We're not going to switch them around. We're not going to negate one and leave the other. We just negate both coordinates. So we already did an L prime, Q prime, and P prime. So now I'm going to call this L double prime. All right, just because I'm transforming it twice. So it's just, it's just another L, OK? So L is now going to be negative 1, negative 1. Q, double prime, is going to be negative 5, comma 2. And P, double prime, is now going to be negative 1, 3. OK? Yeah, you just negate them. So it's 180 degrees. Now, so let's go and plot these points. So it's negative 1, negative 1. So that's L. Oh, wait, let me do this in pink. L double prime. Then I have, that's L double prime. Then I have Q, which is negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 2. So that's Q double prime. And then negative 1, 3, 1, or negative 1 up 3, negative 1 up 3. Huh? Oh, that's L, that's. 1 comma 1 is now negative 1, negative 1. That should be negative 5, 2. That should be negative 1, 3. Oh, that's negative 5, up 2. Negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 2. That's Q, double prime. And P would be negative 1, up 3. 1, 2, 3. OK? So does everybody see how I went ahead and did that, at least to go through that? So now what I'm simply going to do is now just connect those. And now I have my rotation. All right? So again, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and confirm this with a sheet of paper to make sure to see if this makes sense on how as far as how I rotated everything. So again, if I pass my sheet of paper, please. So originally. Originally, ladies and gentlemen, we had, let me just find it. Where's this dot? OK, there we go. Originally, we had this dot right here. This is their triangle. If we rotate it 90 degrees, we get to here. If I rotate it another 90 degrees, we should have something that's going to look like this, right? So therefore, I look at it. And is that roughly what our triangle looks like? Yes, it is. Now, there's one thing I want you guys, I want to talk to you guys about. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, sorry, this is what it here's our original triangle. If I rotate this 180 degrees, I have something that looks like this, right? Now, if I rotate it back 180 degrees. What about if I wrote it 100, 180, what if I rotate it 180 degrees clockwise? That's 90. That's 180. Is it the exact same thing? Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, when you're doing a rotation of 180 degrees, what I want you to understand is it doesn't matter, John, if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay? If I say to measure something, if I say rotate something 180 degrees, the only thing that matters is, well, what point are you reflecting it about? And then you just negate the x and the y coordinates. It doesn't matter if it's counterclockwise or clockwise. That's a very important thing to know. So you might want to excrete it, write that one down. Right? It doesn't matter. The, the direction doesn't matter for 180 degrees. Okay. All right, we got one last one to do, and then we're done. 